shot of this side of uh, Wilsonville. Yeah, right. <laughs> Steve would get a chuckle out of that. Yeah, there's about uh, five or six people living on this side of Clarksville. Of course, we call it Wilsonville. People live in all kinds of things. That the containers even are homes for people. The Coffee Point is a, a kind of an ad hoc community that's just for fishing. It's only occupied for uh, part of the year, and people have put up their homes uh, kind of where they can. Actually, uh, much of the land is uh, uh, native land, it belongs to the Native Americans, but enclaved into it are little patches of land that are in private ownership, and the people that own the private land have divided that up into lots, uh, very small lots that are rented or leased to uh, the fishermen. And so the fishermen will lease a, a little tiny piece of land for about $500 a year, and then they'll throw up whatever kind of shanty that they have uh, time or opportunity to put up so that they can uh, have uh, some protection from the shelter during the uh, two, or th two or three months during the year that they're here. There's very little incentive for people to haul away anything that they've brought in. So all of the old equipment that's brought into Coffee Point eventually ends up just staying here and uh, uh, left wherever it was last in use uh, and gradually molders into the uh, sand, and into the vegetation. Yeah, Steve's truck and trailer. Give you just a little pan around. The neighbor. Terry in his airplane. And the boat's off in the distance waiting for the next run. And back to Steve's cabin. Put the Merle on the side. four-wheelers. One is Bill's, and the other is Steve's. And I'll take a little walk down the Main Street, Wilsonville. Of course, most everything is flowing in. This is a uh, Ten air flight from King Salmon. That's the flight that actually brought us into uh, Coffee Point here just a uh, couple days ago. Looks like he's turning on final and he's going to uh, come in and land. And this is Bill's old truck. As you can see, it's a good old truck, but uh, kind of rusted out. He said the gas tank rusted out, so he found a uh, old fuel tank from a boat and uh, strapped it on the back. And <laughs> this one actually does have the doors and the floorboards. After they start going, the uh, floorboards kind of rust out. And uh, and then the body goes and the doors start falling off. <laughs> but hey, if the engine still works, they uh, they still run them. Run them till they don't run no more. And a shot looking kind of north off Main Street, Wilsonville. There's a whole complex of uh, big buildings here. 
that I guess a company called Peter Pan out of, uh, I believe, Japan, bought this whole area, put up the buildings, uh, had quite an operation going till about five years ago. Then they started pulling out. And they're totally out of here now. And so all these buildings are just uh, sitting empty. There's a slight pan over to the right here, just to show you what it looks like with, uh, with the tide being out. You got some low-lying areas in here. Aggregate River just kind of is real low in through here because the tide is uh, totally out. So you find all these uh, sandbars and and all the fishing waits until the. Uh, tide actually comes back in both tonight and also tomorrow morning. It's real hard to see off in the distance but that is a volcano out there and you can't see the top of it because of the clouds. I'm not sure how many miles away it is but uh, that's the closest volcano plus there's one a uh, little further away that we can't see yet. We'll see if we can find a, a good day and uh, get the camera on a tripod so it's uh, a little more steady. Of course, this is the uh, preferred mode of transportation here. These four-wheelers uh, are just run back and forth on the beach. Whoa, lost them all together. <laughs> just running from uh, point A to point B. All those years I paid them. Okay, the year they took the taxes away, they gave, gave us a check. It's like we're getting ready you for know. a shower. I had to sign it and give it to the state of Oregon. <laughs> you guys ain't got you anyway. Huh? Well, I couldn't Filling up the tank? <laughs> anyway, you know, in Alaska, it's been probably a cold shower years. tonight. Yeah, foreigners like you guys. No pennies to last the taxes, and they've been trying for years. To, you know, at least they ought to be taxed. Well, any Alaskan that goes to Oregon don't have to pay any taxes either.